The Coombs test is a diagnostic test used to detect antibodies attached to the surface of red blood cells. It helps to identify autoimmune hemolytic anemia and other immune-mediated hemolytic disorders. But the test is also used to verify blood group compatibility. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated and activate the notification bell. Antibodies form an important pillar of the immune system by recognizing and eliminating invading pathogens. The immune system, however, can be error-prone if antibodies target and attack the body's own cells. With the Coombs test, it is possible to check blood of a patient for antibodies that attack their own red blood cells. This scenario, described as autoimmune hemolytic anemia, causes the destruction of red blood cells. The erythrocytes decrease in number and functionality and this results in a decreased oxygen carrying capacity. If left untreated, this can have severe complications. Therefore, it is important to diagnose this condition with the Coombs test. As a short remark, further diagnostic steps should be initiated. The Coombs test can be executed in a simple test tube. There are two versions of this test, the direct Coombs test and the indirect Coombs test. In the direct Coombs test, IgG antibodies are detected which bind to the surface of erythrocytes. In the first step, a blood sample of a patient is taken. The sample is washed in saline to remove unbound antibodies and isolate the erythrocytes. In the next step, the patient's erythrocytes are incubated together with the so-called Coombs serum. The Coombs reagent is obtained by immunization of rabbits with human serum. Therefore, the Coombs serum contains anti-human globulin antibodies. After mixing the Coombs reagent with the red blood cells, the anti-human globulin will bind to the FC part of the human IgG antibodies on the surface of red blood cells, if present. That causes agglutination and a positive test result. There are different ways to evaluate the test result. One way with the conventional test tubes includes a centrifugation step. After centrifugation, in case of a positive result, the agglutination can be visually detected in form of red blood cell clumps. In case of a negative result, meaning that no antibodies were bound to the surface of red blood cells, the result would look more like this. Whereas the direct Coombs test detects antibodies sticking to red blood cells, the indirect Coombs test focuses on free-floating antibodies within the patient's serum, which may potentially bind to erythrocytes in case of a transfusion. After the erythrocytes have been washed out, the remaining serum that only contains unbound antibodies is incubated with test erythrocytes. In case of a positive test result, the antibodies will bind antigens on the surface of red blood cells after a while. In the next step, the Coombs serum is added which causes agglutination in case of a positive result. And the procedure is continued as demonstrated before with the direct Coombs test. The indirect Coombs test is used to check blood before transfusion. Further, pregnant women get a prenatal test to analyze whether the antibodies of a pregnant mother would harm the child when passed. Check out one of these two interesting videos here and please leave a like if today's video was helpful to you. Post your questions into the comment section. Take care, bye.